Well, welcome and good evening, you wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8, and this is part one of Let's Play Marion Tavern Story, Patty and the Hungry God. This is, from what I understand, a RPG where you manage a... It's kind of loud. It's good music, but I need to be able to hear myself think. Um, it's like you're a guild master and you're also running a tavern or something. So, I like the art style. New game. Let's move my mouse. It's a shame, Father, could come. By the way, do you guys want me to read this? I'll probably read this unless I just stop feeling like it. But let me know if you'd rather read it yourself or you want to actually hear me read it. Yeah, Gino. I guess he could get time off. Madam Patricia, Gino will be at the village very soon. Okay. By the way, Romano, how long have you been working for us? Okay, so this is Patty. I think that's who... I believe we are Patty. How long do people live? He probably actually is 120 years old. Well, probably longer than that. I mean, I assume there's supernatural stuff going on. Beards are optional. Okay. Yeah, it's not like he's driving. We now have a Minku. Hello. Yeah. 
Oh, I accidentally skipped too much. We'll never know what was said. Kukoro. Terrible. Okay, so we're poor now. That's really sudden. What, do we need the equivalent of breaking like 700 mirrors? Weird. Okay. We didn't even get to eat. So what, I... We bumped into a fucking rock? Yep, it, it, it did. A stoat's like a ferret, right? It's a pretty fucking chubby ferret. We gave you a cookie! Shouldn't you be happy then? I... This is terrible. Why would... Why... I am... Are you like Sena from Tenchi Muyo GXB? Like, you, you can't help this shit? So you're not like doing this sadistically on purpose to us? It's just like, you know, it's, it's just... It'd be like you have a happy rain cloud following you around that just follows you around because it loves you. But instead, you know, it's just raining on you. Like, why is it fucking raining me all the time? It's because the rain cloud has a crush. Yeah. 
Thank you, Coco, the god of fucking... fucking myself. Was it when I gave you the cookie? Or when I knocked over the rock? Oh my god! This is a terrible lesson! This is... This... This is the opposite of a moral! I'm... You're literally punishing somebody for being nice. This is like... I... What is... What is the moral of this story? Be a dick? Eat happiness. Thank you. Is the condition that we keep this little bastard away from you? Because I don't blame you. This is a terrible lesson. This is this is not This is like those horrible like children's stories from the past. Like I have a book of old fairy tales that I'll read if you want. But literally some of them are about beating people or eating them. Like, you know, sometimes a story ends with they lived happily ever after. One of the stories literally ends with they were all fucking miserable and then they died. The end. Granted, it doesn't have the word F in there, but you get the point. There's one where there's a dude that is a king that humiliates a woman to make her more humble. There's another one where there's a guy who keeps murdering his wives and storing them in the basement. There's another one that's just racial slurs! And it's not like it was made that way to be a racial slur. It's literally just a story of racial slurs against particularly Jews. And this is a, apparently a popular story from hundreds of years ago that people would tell their children. Like, it was this kind of story that every child in, in, like, in, in England would have grown up hearing. And I'm like, what the fuck? What is this? Oh my god! Or like the version of Cinderella where you literally gouge out the wicked stepmother's eyeballs and then make her wear metal shoes and have her dance till she dies while getting third degree burns. It's just... Then again, it reminds me of that one German fairy tale. There were some kids, they went outside, and Al ate their face. What's the fucking lesson? Fuck nature? Owls will eat you? I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, any picture of an owl I've seen, it's adorable. I'm just like, what the hell? What is the moral of this story? I mean... Like, a lot of those old-style, like, the grim fairy tales, and I have a book titled Grim Fairy Tales and has stories like that and it's just like what the fucking hell now that being said if I did have to recommend some stories for you guys to read um, of course Out of Ground Poe Shakespeare The Odyssey Homer's Odyssey that's really good they actually made a movie about that back in like the 90s it's really amazing I really strongly recommend 
watching the Odyssey. I think there's an actor in that called like, Armand Asante or something. It's a really kick-ass movie. Um, also, the Canterbury Tales. I think it's Jeffrey Chaucer that wrote that. Those are pretty good, but I haven't read that long-ass time. But, yeah. Like, I have a book called The Grimm's Fairy Tales, and it's got a lot of older fairy tales that are just... Like, one of them is literally just a string of racial slurs, and I'm like, What the fuck is happening? Like, it's like that with every sentence I read, I feel like my mouth is just hanging open. I'm like, what is this? What the fuck is this? Anyway, back to this. The Golden Branch Inn. It is not of the best condition. True. That is a very romantic way of looking at life, sir. I appreciate it! Thank you for the faith. I have to fart. Oh. I wasn't about to hold that. This seems like it could be a very fun game. What? Thank you. Also, the fact that you didn't just immediately ditch us once we're poor. Thank you for your, well, actually caring about us. Understood. Ah, I went too fast. Yay, I'm glad it lets me use the controller. And I have 360 degree movement. Will do. Hi. Hello. Thanks for being... What's the word? A snob? Precocious? Arrogant, snooty, condescending. Ah, rude.
the way, Erica is very cute. So fucking small. Why would I ever want to use hard mode? Basically, you want to grind faster. the end game timeline like how fast does time move how fast do the seasons change oh so like an ATV gauge Categories of enemies, birds and beasts, reptiles, crustaceans, mollusks, plants, subhumans, magic creatures, holy beasts, 
Wires, Aquatics, and Immortals? Okay, this is an interesting form of Pokemon. Battle sped up. Got some salt. For some reason, it feels satisfying to move my character around. I like how this sprite moves around. I like how it feels when the sprite moves. Wind Cutter! That reminds me. Wind Cutter is actually a move that Sally uses in the anime Bofuri. It's called Bofuri, I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. It's an extremely wholesome anime. I actually have the uh, limited edition collector version of that. It's a really good anime. This game would have a lot of grinding happening, but it actually would make grinding fun. So far, I feel very impressed with this game. Oh, a chest. Well, I mean, technically, Patty's got a chest, too. Heck, Erica's is still nice, too. Well, I gotta say, Erica's really cute. I should probably figure out more about people's skills. Okay, so my... What are Patty's skills? None. I has no skills. Okay, Erica's skills. So, like, white mage villains. Oh, cool. Did it not work? Damn.
check our menu. Do I have an inventory limit? I don't think I do. That's good. I was kind of worried to be like Resident Evil where I gotta like watch how much shit I'm holding. So, the fact that I can just carry everything on the planet. I like the, um, the pictures we have of people. It's really cool. Oh, there's Dash. They seem to really want to hit him. I use it. X? Okay. Dash I notice like push right bumper just have everyone attack. <laughs> right now these are little enemies, so why is there a random bomb in the chest? skill. I should have plenty of supplies now. Okay, I believe I go back here. Oh wow, you guys did an amazing job. Holy shit. You guys did amazing.
So are Erica and Dante here too? Pickled cucumber. That would just be a pickle. Next time. Nope. Yep. Yay! We made a save. So anyway, hope everyone out there had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day, and this is really cool. I suggest you guys play this game. Let me know. How it goes for you. Um, but yeah, this seems really cool. Fire Day, what is this? Brave Bensu Musashi. Summer Week 1 of 5. Ah, neat. Bye.